a very big hello to all LMD viewers, you know, whose signatures are these? Yes, viewers, these are the signatures of the three famous footballers in India. And one of them is the signature of Mr. Sunil Chetri, the Indian captain. And the other is Mr. Darren. And the third one is of Mr. Keegan. They all are present over here in the studio of Rai International School, Malad West ICAC. Let's take a look. very own Mr. Sunil Sir, who is the football captain of India. You have been to the Europe, you have played there. What's the difference between Indian playing and the European playing? It will be a little bit unfair to compare Sporting Lisbon with India because, uh, you know, they are sixth or seventh in the world and the academy that we're talking about right now is third best in the world after La Masia and Barcelona. It's uh, one of the best in the world, so the, the comparison shouldn't be there. When I was there, I learned a lot of things. You know, that was a club which produced stars like Ronaldo, Charisma, Nani. It's one of the best clubs in the world, always produces big players. As a country in India, we are improving. As I said, it will be unfair to compare India with Portugal right now, but definitely we are improving and that's a kind of target that we have that if you want to be in the world football, we have to be one of them to ha have an academy like that and that is something that I always dream about. Who was your first mentor in your life? My first mentor and still the best mentor in my life is my father. You know why I say this is because he at the right time, he is like my father, like my critic, my friend, my manager, my everything. Everything and anything that I know today or whatever I am today, it's only because of him. There are so many people who are responsible for where I've reached. But if I have to take one name, it has to be my father. Has been there and will always be there supporting me the way he did from the first day of my game. According to you, how important is infrastructure at school level so that we can get future Ronaldo's, Messi's and Sunil Chetri's in India? You know, one thing is to find out talent and then it's very, very important to nourish and develop it. And to nourish and develop it, all around it has to be good. Right from the food that the talent eats, right from the way he rests or she rests, right from the way he or she takes care of the body and the infra where he trains, where he and she trains, the kind of footballs they get, the kind of goalposts there are, the kind of field they train in. This is very, very important. If you have to be successful in life and you have to be different from normal people, you have to train in a good infrastructure. When you were chosen as a captain of India football team, what was your reaction? I mean, how did you feel? I was calm. I was nervous. I was happy. I was excited all in the same emotion. That was something generally, you know, as, as, a, as a young kid, you never plan. You can only dream about these things. If right now, if I ask you, how would you feel if you're going to be the best TV presenter in the country? You'll feel numb and you wouldn't dream about it. Uh, sorry, you wouldn't think realistic about it. You would be more, more about dreaming about it. Same thing happened to me. Uh, we, all footballers, if you ask any footballer, they always dream about playing the country first and then maybe captaining it. The same thing I had and when I actually got the opportunity, I think it was 2009, I was just numb. I went to my family, had a quiet dinner, hugged them all and I was really really happy and still now when even now when you're saying this I feel really proud about the fact that I am the captain of India. What inspired you to get into football? This is a good question. I think uh, my mom used to play for Nepal national team. Mm -hmm. My father played for district level. So I never have to, had to be inspired by anyone. I was just self-motivated right from the time that I know. My parents tell me that I had football with me. So I never had to, they say that I had my genes because both of them are ardent football players and lovers. Till now, whenever they get an opportunity, they are watching me. Right from the first day that I played, they have come to watch me. And till now, when they get an opportunity, they come and watch me. And uh, they are my biggest critic, they are my biggest fans and everything. So I never had to work hard to understand or to love this game because I already had it myself. What was important, what was difficult for me to was to work hard. But that, that's something that you can't bring by your birth. That's something that you've got to do yourself. But getting attached to the game wasn't difficult for me because I had enough family. And my mom and my dad used to train with me when I was young, so that wasn't difficult. Sir, so, as we all know, injuries are a part of the game, so you might have got some too, but how did you cope up with your injuries and continue to play? How did you inspire other That's players? Very good question, play? man. Very, very good question. Good one. Yes, injuries are a part and a very lethal and a disgusting part of, of sports. That is one 
part of sports I wish I could eradicate but because our, our, ours is a physical game it's a very normal part of it whenever I'm injured I try to keep calm because I get really mad my, my, my parents my friends they don't like to talk to me because I'm really cranky I say stupid things I get angry very soon and I'm a very different person because something that keeps me away from the ground really irritates me but at the time I also want to keep myself calm I listen to the physios I listen to the doctors I don't get uh, carried away I take enough rest, I take all the precautions so that I can get back to the ground as soon as possible. Sometimes you do mistakes because the zeal of you getting back sometimes overpasses the fact that you, you can't at that moment. You know, you push yourself and there are chances you're going to get injured again. All this permutation combination the, the, are the reasons why I really get mad. Nobody likes me when I'm injured. Nobody calls me. The phone calls are all cut down. My parents know that, my friends know that. They all stay away from me and they hope that I, I, I get fitter soon. It's the worst thing for a footballer, or for any sports. It's okay to lose, to win, to have a bad day, to have a good day, but to get injured is the worst thing for a footballer. No. So I wanted to ask that, uh, where does the Indian team lag to get qualified in the FIFA World Cup? I hate you, man. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? Journalist, right? Yes, of course, man. I hate <laughs> yeah, as I said, you know, because the World Cup is going on, man, suddenly we judge our team with the World Cup. We're not there yet. It's a sad but a true fact. The best 32 teams in the world play the World Cup and we are not one of them. Technically, the best four or five teams from Asia play the World Cup. So to have any chance to reach there, you have to first come in the first 10 of Asia. We are somewhere in the 20s right now. So the realistic and the achievable dream right now is to come in the first 10. Now there are three tires, like we are in the third tier right now. The second tier can take, consists of teams like Qatar, UAE, Uzbekistan. And the first tier is Japan, Australia, Iran and Asia. So we have to quickly try to come in the second tyre to have a realistic go on the first tyre because we know only four teams from Asia play so that is more realistic right now rather than thinking of the World Cup because then we are bogged down with a lot of pressure Follow your inner moonlight, don't hide the madness. This is exactly the message given to us by Mr. Sunil Chetri. And we would also like to thank Madam and Sir for giving such a wonderful opportunity so that one of our guests, Mr. Keegan, is also an ex Ryanite and a famous footballer in India. So, on this note, this is Vijay Pradosh Shetty. And this is Vijay Bhavyasha. Signing, Signing off, off for Young Journals. Young Journals, where the news is all the people, for the people, but by the youth.